Despite requesting $153 million to cover the cost incurred from the Gulf Stream oil spill cleanup, the central government is only prepared to allocate to the THA a third of that request. During the Standing Finance Committee meeting in Parliament yesterday, Finance Minister Colm Imbert stated they determined that $50 million would suffice based on documentation provided by the THA. Reporter Candice Jackson has more details in this story. The request from the Tobago House of Assembly was $153 million. Right. We found justification for 50. This statement was made by Finance Minister Calm Imbert to the Standing Finance Committee in Parliament for the supplementation of heads of expenditure on the national budget. The $50 million in supplemental funding is to assist the THA in paying some of the bills incurred from the February 7th Gulf Stream oil spill response efforts. According to Imbert, he was not the one who determined that the THA should only receive a third of their requests. Instead, technocrats in the budget division decided. The public servants in the budget division of the Ministry of Finance requested supporting documentation from the Tobago House of Assembly from their counterparts. They interrogated the documents and recommended that a sum of $50 million be made available. When questioned by the opposition, he detailed what the $50 million was approved for. These costs include cleanup and remediation, lease and rental infrastructure, marine support services and consultancy, security, materials and supplies, catering and refurbishment. However, the costs do not seem to address business owners and fishermen who had their livelihoods impacted. This was a point member for Kuva Nord, Rari Ratiram, sought clarity on. So from the items that you have read out there, which was not provided to us, nowhere in that indicated that any kind of funding is going to be allocated or put aside for individuals who would have lost income as a result of this oil spill. But Speaker of the House, Bridget Annie said George, denied the question. The second question, I rule is out of order, having regard to what this process is about. The Old Tobago Fisher Folk Association submitted a claim for $13 million in losses and damages. Many of the fishermen in Lambo are still unable to fish because their vessels were either damaged by the oil or damage while rendering assistance to the emergency response efforts. Additionally, they claim that the oil spill affected the availability of fish close to shore, forcing them to travel further distances to catch the same amount of fish. The central government has also sought US $23 million from the International Oil Pollution Compensation IOPC Fund, which will cover the costs of companies engaged by the Ministry of Energy and Energy Industries to assist in cleanup efforts. Candace Jackson, Tobago Updates, Television News.